Hello friends, welcome to Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Shortcuts. In my very recent video, you know, I told you how to convert the pure and mixed recurring decimals into rational form. And you all appreciated that video. And this is an extension of that video in which I am going to tell you how to add and subtract the recurring decimals. This is something special which is rarely found on YouTube and uh, even in books you know you don't find uh, sufficient content on this particular topic. So when we have recurring decimals that means the numbers in which the digits keep on repeating right how do you add and subtract those? Obviously you will have a recurring decimal as the answer also but what is the answer and how do you do it? Does the traditional addition and subtraction work here also? We will look into this in this video. So you need to watch the complete video to understand the concept. I am going to solve uh, maybe 4 or 5 problems to make you comfortable. And if you have not clicked the subscribe button till now, please do it. And do click the bell shaped icon so that you keep on getting the notifications of all these useful uploads on this amazing channel Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Shortcuts. So let's get going and understand the concept behind adding and subtracting of these recurring decimals. So for this, I am going to take the first example and I will show you all the steps, okay. So you need to watch the first example very carefully to understand the subsequent ones which are going to be a little bit more complicated. And if you want the complete ebook of short tricks, then you can send me a message on WhatsApp 9896369963. That is the WhatsApp number. I'll tell you how to get that nominal costing ebook of short tricks. The amazing, amazing content. Right. So, what is the first question? I'm going to take up 71.43 with a bar over 3. So, 3 is repeating here. And I want to subtract 27.6 with a bar. Right. Now, how do you subtract these numbers? So I'll just get rid of these lines so that you don't get confused. Yeah. So this is the subtraction problem which I want to do now. So what am I going to do is I am going to separate out these two numbers into three different parts. Now watch. The first part, the number before the decimal here is 71 and we have a uh, number after decimal which doesn't have the bar over it, right? Whereas this is a pure recurring decimal because after decimal everything is repeating. Here this is a mixed recurring decimal. So this 4 doesn't repeat, only the 3 is repeating. So in this number 71.4 is not going to repeat. So this has more uh, digits which are not repeating. So I will write 71.4 on the left and then below this I am going to write 27 point, point below the point obviously and then I will write one digit from this repeating part 6. I hope you understand why I, I wrote 4 here because 4 is not repeating. So we have to check which number contains the greater number of decimal places which are not repeating. So here one digit is not repeating, here everything is repeating. So I have written 4 and then therefore I have to take one digit from here also. Now the number of decimal places which are repeating, here you can see one digit is repeating, here also you can see one digit is repeating. The LCM of 1 and 1 the number of repeating digits or the recurring digits, the LCM, 1 and 1, the LCM is 1 only. So I will write one digit in the middle here. So 71.43 and then 27.66666 repeats, right? So 6. See, it, the number has to continue. 71.43, 27.66. Why did I stop here? Because the LCM of 1 and 1, one digit and one digit is one digit. So I have to write one digit in the middle part. In the last part, I have to write two digits by default. So 71.43 
What is the number? Seventy one point four three 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 three. So up to three I have written. So I write two more threes here. I have to write two digits by default in the last part. And here twenty seven point six 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 repeats itself. So I will write sixty six here. And then I will put the horizontal line and do the traditional difference. Now I will be subtracting them. So if you subtract them, you get thirteen minus six, which is seven. Twelve minus six, which is six. Twelve minus six, which is six. And uh, then we have this thirteen, uh, right? So thirteen minus six, which is seven. And then the decimal. And then this is ten minus seven, three. And then six minus two, four. Now what is the answer? The answer. Just ignore this part. And write this part forty three point seven, and the middle part will be your recurring part. So the answer for the question is forty three point seven six bar. That means forty three point seven six 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 is the difference of these two recurring decimals. I hope you have understood at least fifty to sixty percent of what I have done here. Why I have taken these many digits here? Why only one digit in the middle? And why two digits here? I'll take one more question. Okay, I'll move to addition now. So the question is one hundred and eighty-nine, and in the decimal part I have one four three, and all three are repeating. Okay, in the second part we have sixty-two point. So I'm, I'm going to add sixty-two point five seven three, and only the three is repeating. Right. So watch out the question now. So in this number you can see that we have sixty two point five seven two digits which are not repeating. Here there is nothing after decimal which is not repeating. So the higher number of non repeating digits are in this number. So I will write sixty two point five seven on the left hand side. And here also I have to take two digits now. So this becomes one eighty nine point one four. Now in the middle. The LCM of three and one, the repeating number of repeating digits, three and one, is three. So I will take three digits. One eighty nine point one four three one four three one. Two digits here. That is by default. And three digits here. Sixty two point five seven. Three is repeating, right? So three 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 three. And now I have to do the addition. So let's do the addition. This is four. This is six, which forms the last part. This is seven. This is four. This is six, which forms the middle part. This is eleven. One one carry means seven point eleven means one. One carry means fifteen five. One carry means two. So here we have the sum. Now forget the last part. Write two fifty one point seven one. That is non recurring part, and the recurring part is six four seven, which will be under the bar. And pick up the calculator and check. This problem will have the sum two fifty one point seven one six four seven six four seven six four seven and so on. Now that's how it works, and this is the shortest method for this. Now I'll take two more questions. See, here we have a difference problem. So how many non-recurring digits? Seventy eight point five zero and nine point three two four. So here we have greater number of Digits which are non-recurring after decimal. So I will write nine point three two four, and here I will write seventy eight point five zero one. So three digits. In the middle, I have to write say, how many digits? The LCM of two and one is two. So two digits. So seventy eight point five zero one six, and then one six one six. So one six one. And then nine point three two four two digits nine 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 nine. Carry out the subtraction now. You will get this is eleven minus nine two, and then this is six, followed by this is one again, and this is six. Then we have here six and a seven and a one and a. Sixty-nine. So sixty-nine point one seven six and six one six two. Forget this. 
you will have the answer 69.176 are the non recurring part and this part 61 is the recurring part which gives you your final answer for this particular question likewise suppose you have to add these big numbers now so how do we uh, tackle this question let's see um, no recurring uh, non recurring digits here we have two non recurring digits here and three here so three means that is the number of digits I have to write on the left, right? So three digits. So twin, uh, first number and the middle number 0 0.007. So 007 and the first one is 23.434. And now I need to see how many digits should I write in the middle. Uh, 2 recurring, 1 recurring and 1 recurring. So LCM of 2, 1, 1 is 2. So I will write 2 digits in the middle. 23.434334, right? Uh, 0 0.007777. 7, 291.050. Now I need to perform the addition. 7 plus 4, 11, 16, 6, 1 carry. 10, 11, 16, 6 and 1 carry. 11, 12, 17, 7 and 1 carry. 10, 11, 16, 6 and 1 carry. 11, 12, 2 and 1 carry. And then 4 and 5, 9. And then this is 4.3 plus 1, 4. 9 plus 2, 11, 1, 1 carry and a 3. So what is the answer? 314.492. This is the recurring part, 6, 7 with a bar and this is to be ignored. And your answer for the question is 314.492.67 bar. Even if you, you know, understand 80 to 90 percent of this when I am demonstrating it, it is enough and the remaining part will come with practice. Very very important method, very exclusive because you hardly find these type of videos on YouTube and um, if you like it do share it with all your WhatsApp groups so that everybody can enjoy this, these amazing things um, concerned with mathematics and quant exams. Do share it surely um, uh, and do comment here whether you liked it or not and practice is a must. So all the best for your practice. Only three is repeating and here 